Okay, guys. So here's Substance Painter. We are um, gotta make sure you're on the right texture set. You just click the eyeball to make sure. Good. And let's make sure. So here our fill in our fill layer we have a color rough normal. So if we want to add something on top of this, like another material, we could just go and try out this zombie bubbles. Pretty interesting. Toggle it off and on, see what it looks like. Or maybe we want to make our person like uh, half metal or something. Uh, the important thing is we're going to use a mask to modify anything. That way we can always go back and edit this. So for example, um, just gotta select the mask. And so we're painting white. Black is um, invisible, so to reveal anything, you just uh, paint on white. And you can also adjust the opacity of this. Oh, pretty interesting. Also use different um, blending styles, and you could also use adjustment um, effects as well, you know, like uh, levels. So for uh, one of the um, things I made uh, recently, I um, got this modified character. So uh, sorry, I was like a like a so looking guy. So the skin color and stuff was already uh, modified in um, the MetaHumans modifier <coughs> or creator and so this is all uh, that came with it so the first thing I did was I s put on the screen one make him a little more pale more grayish so, yeah, just a little gray color screened it on. Let's see, after that, upon these funny veins, um, so to do that, um, so this folder is actually just to, to contain both of these things. Um, let's see, so right here, I believe this was a, yeah, the marble material. So over here, it's in here. like it was
Okay, looks like I grabbed it out of the procedurals. So you just have a fill layer, stick on the procedural for the color. And it looks like I used a divide um, function. So I just have a blue underneath. So it'll take like um, this blue and kind of reveal it. So without it, he's fully blue. With it, it adds um, this back in. And this is multiplied on top of everything. That way it kind of blends in nicely. Far away looks pretty good. This is like a quick project, so <laughs> yeah. Um, and after that, looks like I just had a flat black color and multiply that on top to give it some shadow. Kind of blends in. Um, so I usually use multiply for blending in um, darkness, and I use screen to blend in uh, highlights. So that's him. Uh, so for this vampire character, um, pretty much the same idea. Let's go through the layers. I guess this one I didn't use. Some were really, a lot of these were experimental, so like. Um, yep, so set up the material with what I started off with. I made him a little more pale because he's a vampire. Let's see. So in here, probably didn't do this completely correctly, but it's the same thing as the zombie dude. Um, so I have the, some kind of marble for like vein things, modified it a little bit, and then revealed um, slight red vein things. Let's see, added some, uh, some shadows to him. I gave him eyeliner, I guess. <laughs> Paint to his lips a little reddish, and just uh, this one's just like a regular like um, blood. Just paint it on top. Nothing special. Um, or actually, this was just a texture that was um, placed on top, and you just moved it around. You can like do things like that. So, yeah, that wasn't too uh, complicated or anything. Okay, so for the Frankenstein, let's see what we did. Alright, we got a regular dude, like before. This time I made him a little green. Um, and as you can see, it's a multiply. Otherwise, you know, it's not like blending with the original skin textures that we want to use. Um, Paint it on a uh, little grayish skin. He's supposed to be made of corpses or something. Um, yeah, and uh, it's always smart to use it, this kind of workflow, because then you can like always change the color if you want to. So like, yeah, way darker, or lighter, and just painting masks works great. Let's see. I wonder if that was should have been multiplied though. Huh. Must have forgotten that. Um, let's see, so. Must be an empty layer here. Here. Alright, so for over here, um, this one's also a fill layer. And what I did here was. Um, I believe I used um, one of the brushes. 
was uh, maybe this one or this one. Um, but yeah, what uh, you can do is, or actually, I might have just hand on that with a uh, brush. Um, so for that, you're going to want to set the height. That way, it um, goes inward. You can also change some of these things. Um, okay, made it red, so it looks like um, like spacing, I guess, uh, between. Or actually, I remember now. I painted these on first with uh, one of these stitches kind of thing made sure it was um, metallic looking um, in here and made the height um, I think actually was it? is there staples <laughs> one, one of these uh, textures these brushes and then I went back and moved the layer underneath painted the red and some of these like stretchy like marks from far away it looks pretty good um, let's see um, yeah kind of just like me it looked like his head was split and stapled back together worked out pretty nice uh, but yeah so nothing too crazy this was like a like a week and a half long project. This whole, um, it's all, all these monsters that I modded. Um, but when you're done, you just um, export your textures out. Um, for this case, uh, I think I just used the default Unreal Engine um, packed. That gives you um, base color, roughness, metallic, normals, any misses that you have. Um, and you just make sure you put them out in the right spot. Cool. And next I'll show you guys how to import it back into Unreal.